Welcome to Delft. Welcome to this beautiful historic city that you can see in the background here. Welcome to the home of the Master in Life Science and Technology. The picture you can see as a background was painted by Johannes Vermeer and Delft is very famous for its beautiful city, painted by him. Johannes Vermeer had a very good friend and this very good friend occasionally helped him with painting. And you can see him here on the right side. This very good friend is Antony von Leonhoek, and Antony von Leonhoek made a major achievement for mankind. What you can see in the middle is just this big and is a microscope. And with this microscope, he managed to find a type of life which we had never seen before. On the very right, you can see the microscope and uh, as investigated a year ago at the Reactor Institute here in Delft, and you can see that it contains only just one little lens. And with this little lens, Antony van Leeuwenhoek managed to look into nature and to find dimensions that beforehand were invisible. Rather recently, a colleague of mine has investigated what you can see with this microscope and has verified what Antony van Leeuwenhoek saw many hundred years ago. And what you can see here and you can see this in particular in the right upper corner are small dots and these small dots are bacteria. So Antony von Leonhoek single-handedly developed the entire science of microbiology, showing that there was life smaller than we could ever see before him. And he discovered the entire kingdom of bacteria, fungi and so on. And with this, he enriched us incredibly with his knowledge. And he also laid the foundation of our education today in Delft, life science and technology. And fortunately, unlike these two gentlemen, we have a very, very modern building in which we work. And in this modern building, we can teach you all the ins and outs of life science and technology. And when I say we, then I mean all of the lecturers of the course of life science and technology and this is coordinated by Miriam van der Röhr and I have the pleasure to be the director of this program. In this program we do exactly what Antony von Leonhoek did. We look at microorganisms but we do not only look at single microorganisms but we look at all scales of life. So we look at a single microorganism, we look at mixed cultures of microorganisms we then put them into fermenters to make something useful for us. And an example from daily life from fermentation that you know is beer. But you can, of course, also produce other things with fermentation. And then we can scale all of this and build a full-fledged factory. And the most prominent example for this in our education coming here from Delft is the Nereda wastewater treatment process with which today Last, large quantities of the wastewater of this planet are cleaned in order to ensure that the environment is not burdened with this waste. On the other hand, we also look into the microorganisms and go even further down than Antony von Leonhoek did. We look at the little organelles within the cells and we look at the proteins within the cells. And finally, we go down even more and we look at the details of the enzymes that catalyze reactions. And with these enzymes, we catalyze the production of chemicals in an environmentally friendly manner. Or once we understand how these enzymes function and we know that they are part of a disease, we use the, our knowledge to address these enzymes to develop new drugs and new treatments of diseases on the very small scale. So we go from the tiny scale, even below what Antony von Leonhoek knew, up to the big scale of a factory, all in our education, all based on the knowledge that Antony von Leonhoek originally developed. Our education is based, of course, on the Bachelor of Life Science and Technology in its final attainment levels, or on the Bachelor of Molecular Science and Technology here in Delft and its final attainment levels. Within our education, we learn everything from 
fundamental to applied. And with this knowledge, we can then train you to find jobs all over the place. Our education is a clear engineering education, the hallmark of Delft, an engineer. It is thoroughly embedded within the Department of Biotechnology of the University of Delft, and it combines fundamental and practical aspects. And with this, you can go either on to work in industry or in academia. We have general modules which contain the core engineering that all of our students need. And this means you learn something about the analysis of metabolic networks. And if you don't quite understand yet what that is, that means you look with the eyes of an engineer how within the cells all of the reactions that occur are coordinated with each other. You also look at the design of factories on how to build a factory, which size of vessel should you use, and every aspect of engineering of this aspect. You look at the ethics of engineering and how you can fit it into society. Does it match the needs of the society? And all of this you bring together in an engineering project at the end of the first year, which is the design project where you use your knowledge to design a process. And interwoven with all of this is a good understanding of your academic responsibility, your responsibility of an engineer towards society to do good with what you have done and help mankind forward. Now, in, oops, sorry. Now, in addition to the core program, we have specializations, and the specializations are essentially linked to the different sizes, so the large scale, the scale that Anthony von Leon Luc was busy at, and the smaller scale. We look at biocatalysis for the organic chemistry with uh, enzymes. We look at the cells as factories, and we look at the pure engineering aspects. And all of this is helped with the three academic advisors that you can see here, Frank Holman for biocatalysis, Pascal Lapudiad for the uh, cell factory, and Christian Picciorianu for the engineering aspects. They are your advisors on academic aspects. In addition, there is an academic counselor, Karina Funk, that will help you with all other aspects of your study. Once you have uh, made your decision on which direction you want, oh, sorry. These different aspects, as I just mentioned, look at the different aspects in size. So in biocatalysis, you look at enzymes, you look at organic chemistry catalyzed with enzymes and you look at a molecular scale and what you engineer are bioreactions. If you look at the cell factory, you look at the cell and what you engineer are the processes within the cell. And if you look at the bio processes, then you really scale large scale reactions and you look at how you can engineer those processes. The program that we have consists out of two years. The first year is theoretic in nature and the second is practical in nature. In the first year, the first part is dedicated to the general modules that every student of our education has to take. And then you also start with a specialization. In the third quarter, you also get electives. And in the fourth quarter, all of this knowledge comes together in the design project. In the second half of your education, the second year of the master education, you do a practical project within one of the research groups of the department based on the chosen specialization, and you follow an industrial internship to see how you can apply your knowledge also in industry. Oops. So this is how you are <coughs> Education is spread there, the specialization. You can see that you find the specialization in the specialization itself, in the design project, in your final project, and also in your industrial internship. 
In the specialization biocatalysis, part of the education is linked towards the organic chemistry catalyzed of enzymes, part is to look at the enzymes, advanced enzymology, and a part is on how to change those enzymes and analyze them in a third topic. If you follow the cell factory as a program, then you do metabolic reprogramming, where you change what the cell does and you tell the cell what you would like it to do. Metabolic uh, biotechnology and gene technology, where you learn on how to switch the organism to change the metabolism. And you look at microbial systems engineering, where you learn how to bring several different organisms together to together make, them, uh, make what you would like them to make. And then you can follow the bioengineering specialization where you learn about uh, the fermentation technologies and the real putting into steel of a bioprocess. You learn on the, about the separation after the bioprocess and you learn how to simulate those processes so that you don't have to perform every reaction on a large scale to find out how best to perform the reaction. Our program is set up in such a way that you can also delay your choice slightly and follow the process in a slightly different way. Uh, sorry. So first of all, we have a general part, which you can see in blue, and we have the three different specializations. And the three different specializations are in the program in such a way that you can follow two specializations initially, so they're not planned at the same time, in order to ensure that you have the possibility to make up your mind during the first semester to see which part exactly you would like to follow. So in the second year, you then concentrate on the final project, which you will do entirely on your specialization and you will follow your industrial internship. You will round this off with a nice piece of work, the master end project, and this in many cases will lead to you being the author of a publication or being the co-author of a patent. Now, having looked at all of this, of course, you would like to know whether there are extra options. And yes, indeed, there are extra options. Instead of your electives, uh, you, what you can do is you can go abroad. You can go abroad in an, and the industrial internship, sorry, electives and industrial internship. You can go abroad and you can follow 30 ECTS of your education abroad. You can have an annotation in the area of education. And in that case, you can also become a teacher or you can follow an additional education on entrepreneurship in order to become more enterprising and possibly even found your own company. In addition, there is the another option, which is that you, instead of following a design project, follow the iGEM project. Now, the iGEM project is an international competition to develop a modified organism. This is organized by several universities in the US and Boston, uh, in particular by the MIT. And here you can see a Delft team of students that followed this and were successful. They qualified for the finals in Boston and went there. And you can see that last year, in 2019, they were also awarded with a prize. So this is another educational option. Furthermore, we have the possibility, if all of this is not enough for you, that in addition to the 120 ECTS of the program, you can follow an honors program. This requires that you have very good average marks of seven and a half, and then you can do on top of your normal education, 20 ECTS. These 20 ECTS in your normal program, you have to round off within two years. Uh, the 20 ECTS have to contain five ECTS on courses that are fixed by the university, which are on responsibilities of engineers and the entrepreneurship of engineers and 15 are entirely your own choice. However, the program has to be looked at and also certified by the dean that uh, to warrant that it is of the education that it should have. What happens after your education? 
And here you can see that our students are very successful. So by far the largest peak, almost 50% of our students have a job at the day of graduation. Within the next three months, another 20% find a job. And then you will find that most students have a job within the next period. A few students take a gap year to travel, which explains that even after one year, there are 3% that do not have a job. So in those cases, you have conscious choices to uh, do something else for one year before starting to work in industry or in academia. So where do our students work? Our students typically work in the area that they have been educated for. So 70% of our students say this is what we work in, some 20% do something close to it, and just 10% do something else. Of the students that uh, find work, which are essentially all, half go into public institutions. And this is because half of our students after their graduation follow a PhD program. So half of our students go to public institutions, which means they follow a PhD program. The other half in the vast majority goes to industry and a very large fraction of them then in industry works on the design or in research and does what they have been educated for. A very small part of our students does something completely else. And one of our students today is a very successful newspaper columnist, and you can read her pieces once a week in a leading Dutch newspaper. So to recap all of this, in the first year, you get a theoretical education. 15, uh, no, a large part of this is together to form the core education half of the education, and the 18 ECTS are focused on a specialization, and 12 ECTS are an elective, which you can choose within all of the topics available at the faculty. In the second year, you do practical work, where you do research in a research group of the department or within the faculty, and you have an industrial internship, where you gain practical experience of what you can do with our education after your education. With this, I would like to ask whether there are any questions.